Well, that's one way to create an open pit mine. Welcome back, everybody, to Undead Legacy. I'm an old guy gaming, and uh, I am in a new lead mine that's a little closer to the base. And uh, Master, mine, we are not alone. Tons of lead here with Roberta the Robotic Drone. And dealing with screamers every two or three minutes. Just listening to hear if she called in a horn. I don't think so. I think we got her in time. Uh, so, yeah, we're, uh, we have three or four full stacks of lead now. And it, as you can see, it's getting dark. So uh, we're going to have to head back to the base here pretty soon. And then this should hold us in good stead uh, for quite some time on the lead. Then we can get back to mining the, the other th stuff that we need. Great to see you, Master. Well, thank you, Roberta. That's very kind of you to say so. Uh, that's a little bit too much for her to hold on to. That should be good. So, yeah, I'm just, um, I found, like I said, a lead mine a little closer to the base because the, the last one I went to was quite a ways out. Uh, this one's right on the border of the wasteland, though, but I don't, it doesn't really matter a whole lot, I don't think. At least not as long as we keep mining in the daytime when we when it's night. I'm going to stop anyway because it just gets to be too much. So we'll get the, this nice little stack of lead going. There's a little bit of iron in the mine, too, as you can see here. And then I'll go back to the base and do some smelting overnight. And then tomorrow, um, I'm probably going to spend some more time at the mine getting even more resources because we're we used up most if not all of our concrete blocks and then maybe do some more uh work on the deshawn because i really want to get to uh, get going on on getting our base our permanent base configuration set up and getting elevator set up so that we can update to uh, the new version uh so anyway i'll bring you guys back with an update at some point and we'll go from there Well, that's one way to create an open pit mine. All right, guys. So let's see. I'm back at the base now. As you can see, uh, we got over 4,000 um, lead ore. So I've got that currently cooking up into ingots, as you can see here. Uh, in this forge, I have um, some iron and some zinc going. Um, and then, yeah. And, and I got uh, a four stacks of 10 mil rounds that I'm going to take out to the to the main mine tomorrow morning and then i'm going to also i got these guys working on some stone dust uh, i'm also going to spend probably the lion's share of the day tomorrow during the daytime uh, mining again so i can get as much stone to finish this out now i do have uh, 50 more of these and basically what we need to do is we need to get this floor finished because once this floor is finished then we can actually start working on our final base configuration um, I am going to finish the walls and the ceiling too uh, but those don't absolutely have to be in place uh, for us to to start working on the on the base itself uh, well the ceiling doesn't the walls probably should be at least you know two or three blocks high but we'll just kind of you know see how that goes uh, so yeah, that's pretty much my update for now, and uh, I'll bring you guys back with another update in a little while. Alright guys, I'm back with an update here. Um, I've decided to add more spikes around the perimeter of the mine. Uh, so we're going to have two rows of spikes, and maybe even later on down the road, more than that. Uh, so 
we just got to dig out around it here um, to widen it up a little bit more. And yeah, well then we'll put these uh, another row of spikes down. I don't think I have enough on my in my inventory to go get all the way around, but we'll just keep working with you know putting wood spikes down, and then maybe you know later on eventually upgrading them to iron. Um, everything that's on the top is upgraded to iron, and I just finished uh, repairing uh, two. So that's uh, what we're about. So yeah, let's get these spikes put down. Okay, so that's all I have for spikes <clears throat> for now, so I'll make more of those tonight uh, at the base. And I think we're ready to get started mining. Uh, I do have uh, two skill points to spend, too. Uh, all this mining's been getting me XP, so I think um, Penetrator is the next thing we wanted to put a point into. So basically, it'll ignore 35% of the enemy's armor. Um, and piercing ammo can penetrate two additional targets or blocks up to 750 hit points. So we will definitely be maxing penetrator out. This is one of my favorite um, perks in the in this game in general. So it's always worth putting points into. Okay, so now we're gonna do something else here too. Uh, we need to refuel you. I got a uh, a bunch of uh, fuel in the mining cart. Well, hello there, Snake. We're going to have snake souffle for dinner. Tasty. Um, let's actually put a little bit more fuel in the in that. Too. Oh, never mind. I got 45 more spike traps in here. That's right. I couldn't take them all. Um, I'm going to grab those two. And I don't think we need to carry this stuff with us now i got all the repairs done i guess we can put that stuff in there for now too so let's put a little bit more fuel in the jenny here and then uh, continue laying spikes down i forgot that i still have had more of those in the mining cart so that is a good thing so we'll just top that all the way off there okay let's get the rest of these spikes down All right, so we just have this little section here, and that worked out pretty good. Now, uh, next thing I want to do is I want to um, change our path up and make it a little further out because we're going to continue getting down deeper and deeper. So let's see, the mining cart's right about there. We kind of come up right beside it. That should be good. So let's actually dig down a little bit too. There we go. Right up next to the mining cart. Okay, so this path uh, we no longer need. I should have brought some um, some dirt blocks out with me but I, I can't make those in my inventory so I'm just gonna patch um, this up right now with blocks and as long as that's blocked off they shouldn't see it as a pathway to come down to us all right so now let's put all of this stuff in here we want this guy back uh, no we want him down here and you down there and I think we're ready to start mining. Uh, we want to launch Roberta. Powering up. All set. And, whoops. Do I have... Yeah, I need one fuel can in my inventory. And I think we're good. Okay, so let's head on down. And again, if I patch up... I should have waited to launch Roberta. So if I patch this up here, then the Zombos won't come down the path to get me. They'll still try and go over the top. Very good. 
Okay. So, uh, the plan is to just start shaving this thing down one layer at a time without necessarily targeting any particular ore. And we're going to start with the stone. We'll use the jackhammer until it's completely broken and then we'll switch to the Valkyrie drill until that's completely broken and then by that time we're probably going to have a pretty pretty big load. So let's take one of these and we're going to take one of these to get the coffee buff. I don't have any Rockbuster candy unfortunately. And let's get started here. Double spikes are working pretty good. I'm just going to be quiet here for a little while and let things calm down. Man. Guys, um, our both our jackhammer and our Valkyrie drill are completely uh, broken. So, and it's a uh, 1900 hours. So, I think what I'm gonna do is, you know, I guess I could stay here and keep mining with the pick until it gets all the way dark. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. It's just so we can maximize um, our profits here. Uh, but before uh, before we do that, though, I just want to go around. And um, there's a couple of drops. Uh, that I'd like to pick up. So let's do that first. So that way when night falls, I can just get the heck out of Dodge. All right, some soup stock. We can use that for gumbo, I think. Nice. We'll scrap that. Some shotgun shells. Spikes are holding up pretty good. They're definitely going to need 
some repairing, but I'll do that the next time around. Uh, we got a little bit of a thing going on here, too. Clubs. All right. Why don't we... See, do I have any concrete blocks in the thingy here? Uh, I guess we'll just do this. And then, of course, we're going to have to put some more spikes back there uh, later. Okay, so I think that picks up all the drops. So, yeah, I'm just going to spin the last couple hours of the day uh, just mining by hand. And then uh, when nighttime rolls around, we'll jump in the mining cart and go back home. And then we'll have a ton of smelting to do. But it's been a good day so far, for sure. All right, guys, we are back at the base, and uh, this is what we got today. So, um, uh, almost 2,000 coal, almost 3,000 iron, uh, 3,600 large stone, almost 5,000 small stone, um, 1,400 sand, 621 titanium, some zinc, and copper. Uh, so not too bad. So I'm going to get started... Uh, making stone dust with the stone. So as usual, we'll do the small stone in here and the large stone in here. And um, I don't need stone to make this, right? I just need the dust. Yeah. Okay. And then we are going to get you started with um, making iron ingots. 1400 iron ingots beautiful um, that's going to require 35 minutes of burn time so that's 33 34 47 35 great um, okay let's grab the lead ingots out of both of you and we got lots of lead transfer those to there and then Transfer them into the appropriate storage. Uh, whoops. Okay, so let's see. What else do we have in here now? Um, the rest of this, I think I'm just going to uh, put away and not do anything with at the moment because um, we're kind of full up on our crafting stations that use those things. Put all of those in there. That can go in there, too. And that can go in there. These are 44 cal rounds. So we'll put all that ammo in there. And then we're going to have some repairing to do. Repair the Valkyrie drill. And the jackhammer and the titanium pick and the shell all right good deal so yeah i've just got a bunch of crafting to do here um we could i'd like to get the concrete going in there so let's just grab whatever stone powder we currently have on hand and get this started on on the con well the cement I guess concrete cement cement concrete it's kind of the same thing but not exactly and seven minutes and fifty there we go okay yeah so I'm just gonna hang out here um, overnight and do all this smelting and then um, when we come back whoop, we will uh, finish out the floor in here and get the walls probably get the walls up and then get started with the uh, permanent arrangement of our base. And I've got, uh, I'll, I'll kind of go over what my plan is uh, for that, you know, when the time comes to. But I think we are uh, out of time in this episode, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. And then in the next episode, we'll get started with um, uh, the this final floor here and getting our final base configuration setup looking forward to it and hope you guys are too so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the episode if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment to share the video and we'll catch you in the next episode Bye bye